guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Miriam and I'm a soon-to-be first-year medical student. In today's video, I want to give you guys a few tips on how to properly and effectively review your MCAT full-length exams in order to maximize your score. So tip number one is to review every single question. I highly recommend that you not only review the questions that you got incorrect, but also the questions that you got correct. The reason for this is that sometimes you will guess and get the answer right, but also you may have reached the right answer, but the reasoning that you used was way off. So it's a very good practice to go through every single question and make sure that you chose the answer that you did for the right reasons. Tip number two is to review the passages in detail when you're correcting your full length exams. Sometimes on the test you sort of glimpse over the passage or you miss important information that you needed in order to properly understand the passage and answer the questions correctly. So when you are reviewing you really want to slow down, reread the passage and make sure you digest all the information in the passage. Tip number three is to review all the answer choices and their explanations. So when you're correcting your full length exam, not only should you try to understand why the right answer is correct, but you should also look at the other answer choices and try to understand why those ones are incorrect. The reason for this is that one, you will learn a lot of new and useful information that you may have not known when you were first answering the question. And two, um, I think that on the MCAT, it's a very useful skill to be able to eliminate wrong answer choices rather than trying to pinpoint the correct answer. So if you practice this when you're correcting your full lengths, it'll be a lot easier for you to do this on test day. Tip number four is a very important one and it's to make sure that you review any related concepts or topics to the question at hand. So to give you guys an example, let's say I had gotten a question wrong that was trying to test my knowledge on B cells as a part of the immune system. Not only would I have gone back to review everything about B cells, but I also would go back and review everything on the immune system. What this does is that it ensures that you fill in any gaps in your knowledge and it also um, sort of helps you to quiz yourself and make sure that you know everything related to that topic that was tested on your full length. So when it comes to test day, you know that you have all the knowledge that you need in order to answer any questions on that particular topic or any related concept. Tip number five is very important and it's to keep track of any high yield topics or topics that you keep missing in the questions on your full length exams. In order to do this, personally I used Excel spreadsheets, um, but you can also use physical notebooks if that helps you. The idea is that you want to keep track of any subjects or topics that keep coming up in your full length exams or any topics that you keep missing or forgetting or that you feel that you don't understand very well. Once you've made this list of high yield topics and weaker areas, you can easily go back and review everything on this list in order to make sure that you have all the knowledge that you need for test day. So tip number six is to slow down and take your time when reviewing your full length exams. For me, it would take me about a full day just to review every single full length that I took. Although it was time consuming, I think that this is the thing that helped me the most to increase my score. The reason for this is that my review was really detailed and I made sure to learn from my mistakes. So whenever I didn't understand a concept on the questions, I would really take the time to Google about it or to ask people around me or to read up on it again in my textbooks so I really slowed down in order to learn from my mistakes And finally, tip number seven is to Google any AAMC questions that you are confused about. Oftentimes, I would read the AAMC explanations and they just didn't make sense to me. So what I did is I copy pasted the AAMC questions into Google and I found that a lot of people on Reddit and SDN would have discussed those particular questions that I was confused about. And so you'd find a lot of useful explanations to that question. So I highly recommend that you do the same 
same thing. If you're confused, just copy paste the question into Google and you can check out what other people had to say about the question. And yeah, you can find explanations in much simpler terms for you to better understand. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to this channel if you are new, turn on your post notifications and let me know down below what you guys want to see next. I love you guys and I hope to see you guys soon and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your support. It means a lot to me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!